Hello there. This video will cover how developers and designers can collaborate using Jira and Figma. Modern software development teams are multidisciplinary and design is integral to product development. However, there are often challenges during the handoff between developers and designers. It's hard for developers and designers to stay across each other's work and things can be easily missed. We've partnered closely with Figma to create integrations that give better visibility into design work and notify when there are changes. This will help teams stay in sync and deliver work with fewer delays. First, we'll see how to embed a live preview of a Figma design in a Jira issue with the Figma for Jira app. Then we'll learn how to search for Jira issues with Figma designs using Jira query language. And finally, we'll look at Jira automations, which can streamline the collaborative workflow. All right, to get started, we're gonna add a new Jira issue to our existing sprint. To do that, we're gonna click backlog. Now we're gonna scroll to the bottom of this sprint. We're gonna click create issue. We're gonna enter a name. Now we're gonna go back to our board, scroll to the bottom, and we're gonna drag this to work in progress and open this up. It's already assigned us. There's a couple things we need to do here. First thing we need to do is get the design from the design team and then implement the design. So I'm gonna reach out to our design uh, coworker and ask them to update the design in this Jira issue by linking to the Figma design. Now, once Akbar pings us and lets us know that's ready to go, we'll be able to pick this up and take a look at the design and then start implementing it. So I just got this ticket from Warren to link the Figma design for the login dialog to this issue. So I'll go ahead and assign this ticket to myself and switch over to Figma. Here's the file that I've been working in. Everything's pretty much ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this as ready for dev and copy the dev link, which is what I'm gonna be using. Switch over, use the add design button to go ahead and link the Figma URL. Let that load. And now you can see a preview of the design that I just copied as well as the ready for dev symbol. So this is ready for Warren to pick up. I'm gonna just go ahead and tag him. And that's what the Figma for Jira integration looks like. Let's hand it back to Warren. All right, I got notified by Akbar that the design is ready for me to take a look at. I can see my notifications up here in the notification section. So we can scroll down in our board view and we can find our Jira issue, AT531. And I wanna point out that there's this little icon that says there's a design from Figma attached to this issue. So if you're in a board with many Jira issues, um, it can be nice to filter on and find the Jira issues that just have designs associated with them. Makes it a little quicker to get to what you need. Another way to find Jira issues with Figma designs attached is to use JQL search. To do that, we can go over to issues and then we can turn JQL search on and we can get rid of this stuff and we can look for design status equals ready for development. And this will pull back all of the Jira issues that have a Figma design associated with them where the Figma design is set to ready for development. And so this way developers can quickly find the Jira issues that have actionable designs associated with them. Now that we've found our Jira issue, we can click on it to open it in a new tab. Now when this loads, we'll be able to see our Figma design inside Jira. So we can see our design here. We can see it's ready for dev, which lets us know that we can start to build this out. There's a button on the bottom left called expand in Jira, which lets us dive a little deeper. In this view, we can see the design. We can see that it's ready for development. And we have a few other things we can do. One, we can check this button to view as a prototype, which lets us move around and navigate a little more carefully. And we can take a closer look at what's going on. We can also click the Inspect in Figma link to open this up directly in Figma. And from here, developers have full access to all of the standard Figma features. So this is what appears when I click on the design from the Jira ticket. It opens up the design in Figma in dev mode. You can notice that with all the green. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with what dev mode is, 
dev mode is a view in Figma that allows me to focus on just what's ready for building and makes it a little bit more convenient as a developer to just kind of skim through and scan and find exactly what I need. Um, on the left-hand side, you can see that the pages are, are showing just what's ready to, for dev with this badge. I can still see all the other pages that are in this design, but I can hide them so I can focus on what I'm looking at. Dev mode is a read-only view, which means I can't make any um, edit changes or mess up the design. Um, so now I can just take a look and thumb through. I see these thumbnails for what's ready for development. We have the desktop and the tablet screens, and I can see um, if I click on them, it navigates to it, but I can also see when they were last changed. And then there's the layers panel. And the layers panel will allow me, if I hover over it, I can see each of these different layers, as well as some spacing that's going on. Um, it allows me to just kind of quickly look through and dive into what's happening here. Um, but I also see this annotation that tells me that the dialogue component doesn't exist yet in our design system library, which is pretty useful for me to know. So if I click on that, it's going to go ahead and select the layer that the annotation was on, in this case, the dialogue box. And I can immediately, again, see that spacing that we were seeing when we were hovering. Um, now I see that there's spacing tokens associated with this margin, as well as the gap between these elements. And on the right hand side in the inspect panel, I can see the name of the layer, the type of layer it is, as well as when it was last changed. In this case, this wasn't, um, this wasn't. Uh, we also see dev resources, which are links that another developer or another designer has attached to this particular layer. In this case, there's a Jira ticket, which I'll go ahead and open in the Jira plugin. And I can see that Jake was working on this dialogue component. Um, and now I know if I need to reach out for any feedback about this component before I even get started, I can figure out who was already owning this and have that conversation with them and figure out all the information that I need to know without having to go ahead and search for it. The other thing that you can see here is the code panel, which can be the code panel or the properties panel. In properties, I can just see the, inf the static information about the layout, about the width, height, top left, whatever I'm selecting, it'll show me all of the different properties and the gap. If I switch to code, it'll show me those layout properties and style properties using the language of my choice. So we have CSS, iOS, and Android that are natively provided through Figma. Uh, but then there's also, uh, this can be extended even further if you use a CodeGen plugin, which you can browse in the community or create your own. You can see the box model, which might be familiar to you if you're a web developer, that allows you to kind of see, again, all that spacing information that we're talking about and something that's a little bit more familiar to web developers, but then also these code snippets that we can copy and paste and use in our code to just, just to make things a little bit easier. And then if you jump down here, you can see selection colors, all the different variables that are being used and their hex values, as well as the assets panel that allows me to easily export any of these icons that are automatically detected or um, uh, other image assets, whereas I can also use the export tool to customize that even further. Now, we've already gone through plugins. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this dialogue component. I'm going to go ahead and look at this button component and show you some more information that dev mode surfaces. So again, we have this compared to, uh, we have the layer name, tells me what kind of layer it is, tells me this layer was edited an hour ago, and I can compare changes to previous versions. But I can also just kind of take a look at what this button is, how it's being used, um, information and documentation about this component, as well as some dev resources, um, including a link to the component on Bitbucket. And if I go ahead and click on this, it's just going to go ahead and open up the source code. And now I can use this um, if this, bu uh, this button component already exists, so I know exactly uh, where it is and how I can use this. And again, all the previous benefits from dev mode, like the code panel, et cetera, that we were talking about before. So this gave me an easy way to go ahead and scan through the design file, see what's changed. And now I'm ready to go ahead and build this. Another feature of the integration between Figma and Jira is some automations that are built into Jira to automatically label or email users that are associated with tickets with designs. To enable those, we can click into the board view and then we can click this little lightning bolt and we can click see more templates and we come to this screen, the automation screen, and here in the templates tab, we can scroll down and we'll see a number of design templates. We're going to enable this first automation here. So we just click into it and click turn on rule. 
and now it's enabled and ready to go. So this particular uh, automation will add an issue or a label to the Jira issue when a design is linked to it. So let's go take a look at that now. We're gonna click back to project. We're gonna click backlog. We're gonna scroll down and we're gonna add a new issue to our existing sprint. All right, let's go back to the board by clicking board in the left-hand nav bar. We can scroll down and we can see our new issue. We're gonna drag this over to in progress. We're gonna click into it. Then we're gonna click Figma and we're gonna paste a Figma URL. Now we're gonna click link. So now we've got our design. If we close this, we can also see that it automatically adds this design link label. Our previous Jira issue, implement the new dialog for login, um, had the Figma link added to it before this automation was enabled, so we didn't get the label. There are a number of design focused triggers in Jira automations, and there's a number of templates available as well. You can use any of those templates to automate some of the workflow steps that you have. And if the existing templates don't give you what you need, you're able to build out custom automations using the building blocks that are provided. So this can really streamline um, collaboration processes and prevent you from having to spend a lot of time clicking around through your Jira issues when working on these designs. All right, thank you for watching this video about how developers and designers can collaborate using Jira and Figma. You can connect your Figma designs in Jira by installing the Figma for Jira app on the Atlassian Marketplace and the Jira plugin for dev mode from Figma. You can find more videos like this on the Developers Edge video series on the Atlassian YouTube channel.